to uh, well, like he's a, not going Bayern Munich. I could tell you that much. First, some big names this transfer window, like Declan Rice, mm. and Declan Rice is also being linked to Bayern Munich. There's been links to Manchester United. Uh, before we go any further, I just want to know what do you think about Declan Rice as a profile and a player, and then maybe then we can go into the rumors of him being linked to other clubs. Yeah, I think Declan Declan Rice is a is a top top player. I think him coming to Arsenal would be vital for us moving forward. Um, he's young enough, he's good enough, but he's young enough to be the hub in that midfield for a decade. That's what I say. So, you know, if people say, oh, but he's 100 million, well, 10 million a year, I'll take that. You have him for 10 years, that's 10 million a year. That's it. What looks to be quite pricey at the beginning, when you look at it over a number of years, it isn't, it isn't that pricey when you think about it. So I, I think he'll be a perfect fit for Arsenal because he can play so many different positions. He's got the type of game, uh, a flexible game that, you know, he could he could be the runner in midfield. He could be the holding midfielder. He could be the eight. Um, and he could be a, dis- a destroyer. You know, we could just set him after someone and he, he can, he's got the legs to be able to do that. So I think it's been, it's been a while since we've been able to have a player like that. Um, you know, Thomas Partey, I thought, had a, a really good season. Fell off, fell away at the end. But I just think the team were tired. I just really think the team were tired at the end. But I think that midfield really needs to be revamped. Um, not necessarily getting rid of anybody, by the way. I still think we need more competition. Because you look at those top teams, they have the competition to die for. Everybody's jumping at the bit to play. Fair enough. Um, I'm just going to say Declan Rice has also been linked to Bayern Munich, Manchester United, and people keep telling me, people keep going back to what we were a couple of years ago saying, why would he go to Arsenal? Now, as a player, do you look at Arsenal, what they've just come off and say to yourself, I want to go there? Or do you go, uh, and of course, being English, having your family here, is this a factor that's stopping you from going abroad? To, uh, well, like it's not going Bayern Munich. I could tell you that much. Really? No chance. No what chance to go to Bayern Munich. Because he's a, London, he's a London kid and he wants to play Champions League football and he could get Champions League football over here. He doesn't need to go to Germany to get Champions League football. Okay. And Bayern Munich are not the same Bayern Munich of maybe a decade ago. So yeah. they're, they're still a huge team, don't get me wrong, Egal, but I think Declan Rice is a London boy not to say that he couldn't travel to Manchester, but I just think Arsenal have done themselves a huge favour by being the only London team in the Champions League. I think that's huge. And it seems like he's got a rapport with uh, Mikhail Saka, um, with England as well. And Arsenal, hey, Arsenal's the biggest club in London. Let's be honest. Let's Let's be really honest here. So... You know, you, you look at all the things, everything weighs up and you, you weigh things up as a player and everything starts to lean towards Arsenal. Because one, you won't need to leave home. You could live at the same home. you got the same, your family and everything is just, you're just maybe going in a different direction to the training ground. And do you, and do you think it's just because he's still in the Conference League final that we haven't heard about bids yet or anything like that? Because I keep hearing all these rumours about Manchester United, Bayern... Is it just distractions because nothing Arsenal ha- can officially bid yet until after his season's done? Yeah, I, I think uh, out of respect, I think, you know, let him let him and West Ham go and try and take care of business. Um, if they can get, you know, you know, I remember there was people talking about the Conference League and, and, and talking it down. But, you know, a bit of silverware in Europe never hurt anybody, let me tell you. So if West Ham could do that, it's, you know, it's a huge huge trophy for them and Declan Rice is captain to be able to lift it just before he he potentially leaves you know that's what he's got to concentrate on I just think it's a mark of respect that nothing's really come out but we all know what's going to happen <laughs> once that game's over you know yeah. everybody who is in, in, interested in him is going to start moving and shaking and, and trying to get in position to to try and sign him Fair enough. 